Okay. Do, is uh, there any gossip in the magician's world? Loads, but none I could tell you. <laughs> what? There is that crossover show. He went to visit her in her, her hotel wow. that she's been staying at um, and spent the night. So I tell you what, um, I brought him back on because he didn't get enough time earlier. Darren James, magician extraordinaire. Do, is uh, there any gossip in the magician's world? Loads, but none I could tell you. <laughs> what? There is that crossover showbiz one. Uh, the new film, Brick oh, yeah. Flick, isn't it? The, yes, the magicians. Yes, Prestige, with... and they've got the magician, illusionist. And yeah. it's, it's, magic's got a, a huge, uh, big influx at the moment. You've got mm. the movies, you've got TV shows and all that stuff. You had a Paul Daniels, and you had nothing for years yeah. in all the movies, so just... Great for me. Mm. Book me. Weddings, <laughs> uh, parties, <laughs> uh, anything really. Well, I mean, I'm available, Darren James, close-up <laughs> illusions. Broad, let's do some then. Yeah, Prove your stuff then. Well, that's what yeah, we wanted you back on again. Oh, okay. I don't know if you've ever been to Las Vegas, when but there's Paul a game in Las Vegas Black called Paul. Craps. That's about my limit. Oh, it's the yes, same, craps. trust me. Oh, okay, depending that. on what number you, you, you throw, Luck. depends if you win or lose. Be but the thing is, you need to understand that they cheat in Las Vegas, and I'm going to explain how they cheat in Las Vegas. I'm not sure how this is going to work on camera. Excellent. Now the first thing you need to do is spot to make sure the dice is normal. You spot the dice is normal by looking on the front of the dice. You see there's a five and a six. And on the back, there's a two and a one. Yeah. So that's a five and a six. Five and six. And a two on the back. Yeah. The front of the die and the back of the die adds up to seven. If you get the dice and you see there's a five and six on the front, okay, and a five and six on the back, you know that's not normal dice. They don't make dice five and six on the front, five and six on the back. The only bad dice with five and six on the front. Two on the back. You get these, there's a two on the back and two on the front, you know that's not normal dice. They don't make dice with two on the front, two on the back. They only make dice for five and six on the front and two on the back. Of course, if you get there, the other thing they do in Las Vegas, if you threw a, a six and a three, you'd win some money. Because they don't want you to win, they'll pick up the dice and they'll go, look, Elvis Presley. That's called misdirection. If you're looking over for Elvis Presley, they'll lick their finger and they'll move the dots and get a four and a five. And you don't win anything with a four and a five. Now, because you know the secret, you're going to pick up that dice and you go, look, Liberace, as they're looking over, lick your finger, move them dots back again. You'll get a six and a three and you'll win lots of money. Is anyone else really confused? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sat right next to him. <laughs> now, the other thing is if you threw a one and a four, that's the four on the right yeah. and the one on the left. Watch very carefully. The one has to stay on the left, the four has to stay on the right. With just a flick of the finger, <laughs> one will drop, but the one will cross over. That's live TV for you. Yeah. <laughs> but it went okay up to there. It was. It's true. Just like another one. Get me back again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Wow. I mean, it, 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 the more you do, the more you must think. Wow, this is so intriguing. I mean, when he, the, the, the big, do you do some of the big, big magic tricks like Mr. Daniels? I I, mean, I, and Darren Brown. Yes, I, I, oh, I, yeah. I, I mean, I went over to Spain uh, to work in a cabaret bar over there in the, for the summer season. It's not a great deal of stage. Uh, opportunities within the UK, not for the magician. I do a lot of comedy clubs because it's the only really place where you can stand up on a stage. Majority of the business I do is close up, in around the tables, in the hand. And it's surprised not many people have seen the magic up close. I mean, they, they, they believe the big boxes could be tricks, but when they see something so up close and, and they can touch it, and it's all done with skill and manipulation, I think people kind of enjoy it a lot more. It's a lot more personal. And I guess on the television front, people are always going to be thinking, oh, it's trick shots with the cameras and everything. So if you see it live, yeah, I think it's very difficult to get the magic across on, on, onto TV, but uh, all the great shows have been doing it. Darren Brown does a, a, a brilliant mm. series. And I think as long as you, 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 you make it look that it's not trick photography, if you're not continuously cutting away and all that kind of stuff, as some of the modern stuff do, it's just one shot, then it looks it's very clear. Have you ever been cut in half? Just sorry. <laughs> have you ever been, been cut in half? half? Or cut survive. somebody in half? I wish they could just cut that bit off. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like you know in a box and they cut I've been levitated once before, which I mean, it was a, it was a great convincing because everyone thought, oh, it's, it's tricks and stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm uh, <coughs> 18 stone. Uh, and they levitated me, which impressed the audience to anything. Didn't impress me because knowing how it was done, I was pretty much risking my life doing it. But yeah, I've done everything. I do escape jacket escapes and all oh. that kind of dangerous oh, stuff. Oh, you went with that and put you in some water. I give yeah. them until the end of the yeah. show to do it. Oh, perhaps you could teach Laura. We'll, sti we'll stick